A very good day, everyone. I'm standing here next to uh, Ruben from Team uh, Tech United, but also next to two players. Now, people who know a bit about the mid-size league in RoboCup, they will notice that this is a field player. So this is a, a, a player that is out in the field trying to make a goal. This is a typical goalkeeper. It has a few extra bars. It can extend the bars uh, to stop a ball there. Uh, they, they can... Uh, go in and out for a certain amount of time. They can only be uh, out there. Uh, but, Ruben, you have decided on this tournament to sometimes use a field player as a goalkeeper. That seems like a silly thing to do, but I'm sure you have a very smart reason for it. Yeah, so uh, last year during uh, the RoboCup in Thailand, uh, we came up with the idea to, uh, to use a field player as a goalkeeper, because then when uh, we have the ball in possession as a team, we can use five robots instead of uh, four to, uh, to play soccer. So uh, our usual goalkeeper has the frames, but it has no ball handling or kicking mechanism. And a field player does have that. So uh, yeah, then we can really play with five robots. So the, the, the typical terugspeel ball, as we call it in Dutch, uh, uh, playing the ball back to the keeper, let the keeper control it and then bring it back into play is simply impossible with the hardware of this keeper robot. Yes, indeed. So it has no ball handling, so it cannot receive the ball, but it can also not, not kick the ball because it has no uh, shooting lever. Um, yeah, but it, it's also because of the, the weight limits that are there and uh, the dimensions. So it doesn't fit on this robot, it would be too heavy. So maybe a future version could have it, but uh, this one doesn't. And the usual robot, of course, has it. So now we decided that we can uh, substitute the goalkeeper for a normal field player when we want to, and then that normal field player will be in the goal when the opponent has the ball and uh, will go into the field when we have the ball. So no Pep Guardiola football where you can use the keeper as an 11th uh, player. We can maybe show the ball handling system. It is uh, right here. So when uh, the, um, the robot feels the ball here, it can use these wheels to grab the ball against it and then it can pass it with the kicking mechanism there. All this is not present in uh, the goalkeeper. Of course, when you put this one in the goal, it has a lot less volume. So you risk more goals again. Yeah, and that's also what, uh, what happened today so uh, during the match against uh, the Falcons um, yeah we substituted our goalkeeper for a field player and then uh, quickly after that they already scored a goal but we also scored uh, I think more goals than we had uh, otherwise done because we had more uh, field players and they also said the human team members from the Falcons that they really didn't know uh, how to defend five field players against them uh, okay, this is a complete new situation for the defending team too. They have never seen so many uh, so many uh, 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 players in the field. Is it something that you will that you will consider? Well, is it something that you will only use when you play certain opponents, or is it something that you could use against any opponent? Uh, it, it should work against any opponent, but against some opponents, we want to take less risk uh, than against other opponents. So maybe the, yeah, the Falcons uh, playing here is one of the best uh, teams. So then it's uh, difficult to, to take more risk. Um, but we could also use it as an advantage when we have to take more risk to win, maybe if we are behind in the last few minutes of a game. Oh, so the last minute substitution, the Louis van Gaal move. <laughs> and then when it works, you go, ah, I've thought this up. A complete new experiment here uh, at the RoboCup using a field player as a keeper. And I think the name is the Sweeper Keeper? Yeah, exactly. So the Sweeper Keeper is also something that uh, you see in human football. Um, it's also used when the opponent ha have the ball uh, and they are on their own half. And then they can kick long balls towards their uh, attackers. And then the keeper can get out of his goal and uh, yeah, sweep the balls away. So that's why it's called the Sweeper Keeper. So we decided also to, uh, yeah, to start doing that. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the first robotic sweeper keeper in the world.